All right, and we are live with Resident Evil 2. So we should be all kitted out and good to go on basically everything. Let me just reorganize my guns into the order that I prefer. There we go. And that's about all I need. So yeah, we left off right at, here at the sewer. Should be a nice, uneventful time where nothing can go wrong whatsoever. Because that's totally going to be the case, right? Ben? It's not too late to turn back. No chance. You're stuck with me to the end. And uh, this time I actually am playing with, um, with mouse and keyboard just to see how it goes. You sure this is the right way? Never fully played through the two or three remakes on mouse and keyboard. Um, I originally played Wait both there. of these on the Xbox. Actually, I'm going to change the audio just a teeny little bit. And I love that they fucking kept the same from the original. I know a lot of people had a, had a lot of concerns over this being in the uh, being in the remake. Like, like, oh, it's too outlandish. Doesn't make any sense. It's, it's gonna be Holy super shit. out of place. But uh, I am so glad they kept it. I also don't understand how people died in this segment. I think it's pretty clearly telegraphed. You need to be on the opposite side that this alligator crocodile is going for. And I do enjoy that they turned this into a more of a spectacle than just a, um, a straight up boss battle. Kind of makes it more special this way. Versus, you know, actually fighting a big ass fucking alligator. Open the open the door, lady. Leon, open the, up here. the ladder. What the hell was? Just get up here. Well, you see, Leon, that is what people refer to as a giant fucking alligator. Can't say I didn't warn you. You said the virus turned people into monsters, not reptiles. Fair point. <laughs> Sounds I'm so whiny here. In one piece. I forget which upgrade I didn't take for the Matilda. I think it's it, it's basically the the reason why I'm not using it is because it takes up an extra space in the inventory. Which, um, yeah, I don't really need the triple burst on the on the handgun. If I want, I can fire it that fast. Just got to so do it myself. Straight. Umbrella sells monsters like that to who? Our military? Somebody else's? They don't sell the monsters. They sell the viruses that make them. And Annette is who makes the viruses. Scary as that alligator was, Annette is far more dangerous. Alright, so I don't believe we gotta play as Leon too much right here. It's gonna be shifting perspectives. Let's see, let's just save. Identify yourself. Annette Birkin. She's who we're looking for? Not much time. Need to dispose of it. We're here for the G-Virus. Huh. That's not gonna happen. I'm warning you, Doctor. Oh, yeah? Hey! Stop! Stop! Ada! Ah! Leon's a little bit too eager to toss his body in the way for someone he barely knows. Leon. Forget about me. Just go. Stop her before she gets away. Oh. 
Also never noticed, Leon's got some big ass fucking eyebrows in this remake. <laughs> I don't think they're as pronounced in 4. I'd probably have to give it a second look now, now that I'm thinking about it, but I don't recall it being <laughs> that big. Right outside the facility, in pursuit of Annette. It's not on her. It must be in the nest. Once it's in hand, I'll call for extraction. And I get like the that the dress is like super iconic for the character, or whatever. But this is not suitable for run, fighting zombies. I, I don't. This is not practical whatsoever. Why would you do this? All right, so we need to use that tool or whatever. How do we pull it up? I think you have to climb this first, and then I'll give it to you. EMF visualizer. It's secret weapon time. And it's not like this tool is super deep, it's very uh, contextual, but the segment that we're in is super limited anyway, so it's not a big deal. And if I recall, you really don't even have to fight much of anything in these rooms. You can run past most of this. See, there we go. Some quick little tracing mini games. It's basically what this is. Jump down. We can just run past you. Inspection week, blah blah blah. Identification wristbands. Oh, fuck. Where's the fucking. Do I not have a key? Could have. I need to check that door. Wait, I just need to press on it more. Did I miss the key? No, I'm an idiot. I'm supposed to just do this. There we go. So I wasted all that hand again ammo. <laughs> I haven't played this in a while. Don't judge me too harshly. Move my keyboard over a little bit. Okay, so there's still plenty of stuff to grab around here. And I know the things are over on that other side. Alright, so we're basically just doing those to stun, not to kill. And I went the wrong way. Stuff over here. It's good. Flash grenade. Fuck. There we go. Stunned. Here, let's do this. Run past you. Entirely way too many of you guys right here. There we go. Got you now. We basically need to get going because our friend's gonna be around you. And by friend, I I use the term friend quite loosely. 
persistent bastard, aren't you? Come on. Get in here. Oh fuck, he is coming. Go, go, go. about the end of our combat scenario right now anyway. So we just need to go. And bye bye Mr. X. Okay, so that solves that. We can save here. I need to adjust my chair. It feels like my freaking wrists are lower than they typically are. But we shall deal with it. Right, and here's the ID wristband we need, and there's going to be absolutely no catch to grabbing it whatsoever. Except there is. Never get your filthy hands on the G. I'm not the only one after it. You realize that. You oh yeah, if we need alone. to start doing all this. Um okay. So we basically need to short out all three of those things. So here's one. I would imagine Ada would already be pretty much dying. There's fire right at our feet. That should be some cause for concern. Uh, apparently not tremendously so. There we go. Turn it the other way. And that brings it over here. Very convenient. It gives you a timer until you're too crispy, basically, though. I know items Please around here. I believe her segment. Yeah, her segment ends right here. Enough with this cat and mouse game. The game is over. You lost. Tell me, is your husband still alive? Or did you kill him so you could take credit for key? Interesting theory. If you don't cooperate, I'll get a sample from the nest. Over my dead body. For being a super duper spy, this is a pretty embarrassing way to uh, your plans to go down. Where's Leon when I need him? So even for those that haven't already, that don't already like have experience with the Resident Evil franchise and like Ada's whole deal, um, she's got ulterior motives going on, working with different buyers and whatnot, uh, chiefly being. I don't think it's Albert Wesker at this point. I forget who it is you bring the virus to. I'd have to look, like replay Umbrella, Umbrella Chronicles. It goes like super in depth at that point. Ada. Conveniently, whenever 
protagonists are shot by bullets, it is typically in the shoulders where they can heal from it. And it's not even a shooting arm, so. Basically zero hindrance, right? Ada, where are you? So you can't go up there because it's busted for whatever reason now. So we gotta go through the fun sewer parts. And once again, I use that word loosely. Uh, if I had to point to like one specific part of the Resident Evil 2 remake, um, that's probably the weakest. It would probably definitely be this part. I don't think anyone would really dispute that. So there's stuff laying around this area. All right, we are clear. God, I really wish they would have had this in uh, Resident Evil 7. All right, so let's interact with this just to mark it, so I remember for later. Because I sure as hell won't remember if I don't mark it. Can't I move? What the fuck? I can't move past you? Have you not loaded? I seem to be experiencing a glitch of some sort. I cannot cross this path. I should be able to. Okay. Um. Odd. Let's just reload that save. Uh, and hopefully that fixes it because I've never had that happen in any of the versions that I've played. Because I was about to say maybe it can be um, a specific enemy I'm thinking of loading in, but I don't recall them coming in at that point. And now the game isn't loading. It is. Unresponsive. <laughs> Nothing is going. I do believe my game has crashed. So let's exit out of there. Let's just try to relaunch. Shouldn't take too long. Wow, that's the first time I've had an issue with a PC version. Never had an issue with the with the Xbox or the uh, PlayStation versions of this game. So, uh, plus, well, minus one to the PC experience for this. I would say that's probably generally just a PC issue for most games across the board. Not most games in that, like, yes, most PC games crash. That's not what I'm saying. It's, um, compared to console counterparts, there can, I have found in my experience, that to be more, much more headaches, more instances of headaches. Uh, it's not applicable to all games. You like you look at Bethesda titles, and they're infinitely more prone to being broken on the console versions. But as a general rule of thumb, yes, the PC versions are more prone to crashes. Okay, can we cross? Yes, we can cross. It fucking works the way it's supposed to. Thank you for achieving the bare minimum. Oh. That was a creepy freaking scream. But I don't even know where you are. I don't believe they're even going to spawn right here. There's nothing over here. So this is all clear. So we're good. Just want to hunt. Oh. There we go. Let's just grab this shit and fucking dip. I don't even remember what this cassette is for. Oh, I think it's showing Hunk's thing. But we really don't need that. Something over here. Nope. Let's mark this door is locked. Oh, uh, we need. Oh, you know what? Okay, so that's what's keeping this red is this key item. We need to go through here, but first I would like 
to explore to get some items and all. Need a key for that, that's fine. As long as it's marked on the map, we will know to go back to you later. Until then, let's grab some more stuff. Let's actually swap to that. And that's the lower waterway. Um, oh wait, no. I think we need to come down here to use this waterway. Because we can't grab that piece yet. Because we can't use that door because it's locked on the other side or something, I think. Shit. Okay, let's do one more stun. There we go. I'm using a lot of ammo. Oh, ball. You're dead now. Saves me a lot of trouble. You're supposed to get up at some points. Yeah, that's locked. Okay, so yeah, I was doing the right thing. So can't even get this key item right now. So let's not worry about you. This guy down here is probably going to get up, though. At some point. Yep. But we can ignore you. Good thing we don't have any open wounds, otherwise we'd be dying immediately from infections. Uh, blue herbs are good for removing poison. If you combine them, you can also get some damage resistance. Uh, mark that as a puzzle element. And these guys suck a lot, because they take a lot of freaking bullets to, to take out. So we... Are going. I see it wiggling under there. I know you're gonna pop out somewhere, fucker. I see this one. Now I'm really glad I'm playing with the mouse. There we go. Oh shit. Is there another? No, that was another crash. <laughs> yeah, these things are incredibly fucking tough to take out, and they take a lot of ammo, so. Uh, no more Magnum ammo right now. That is not good. That was my baby. Um. Apparently I missed some ammo at some point, whatever. Not a big deal, no key items right there. Cable car. Interesting. We will eventually use this cable car to get the fuck out of the sewers, but that's not gonna be for a quick as hell minute. Let's see, shotgun shells. Let's just go and reload. Where'd she go? And if I remember the password for this, it's like ZVF. It's it's a combination of some of these. VSF. S. Okay, it's some kind of combination of that. What's the... Let's see. T -t 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 -t. SZF, okay. That is the combo. Let me get back over to here. Wait, is that not what I did? What, what was the thing I just said? SZ, oh, it's a Z, okay. Oops. And of course, if you really don't feel like doing these legit way, or just looking up the um, the combo, you can just use process elimination and go down the um, possible com combos. Which I believe that's how I did some of them originally, because I didn't, because I just wanted the reward then and there. Yeah, 
hear something. I don't like the sound of that. I I would hope not. Ada. I don't even know if that's specifically like uh, Birkin that he's hearing either. But apparently, he's, yeah, he's just chilling right behind that door, minding his own business. And then we're gonna come along and fuck up those plans royally. Very deservedly so. So there's the door to exit. Here's the map. Let's just gather whatever whatever items we need for the moment. Um, we can watch this real quick because I haven't seen it in a while. Why was this guy recording on a VHS? We will never fucking know. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that, that's our boy Birkin. Those rats spread it. Yeah, that's exactly what happened. Uh, so I'm gonna leave all these pieces in here because we don't need them yet. But we basically how to get through this entire uh, section. We need all the puzzles, puzzle pieces, so that we can. Um, get past this room because they did not want to use normal keys for some reason they were very adamant about using um, maybe I should take the hand grenades no I won't though so. um, yeah regular keys don't exist in this universe you gotta have some weird fucking obscure bullshit what is my time anyway I think you can see it in the records Options. I'm pretty sure it's under records, right? Clear time. Current 205.07. Might be able to. I know this segment can sure as fuck slow you down if you're not paying attention or if you don't know what the fuck you're doing. Which, especially for first timers, can't really blame you. Because this place can be super fucking confusing. So let's gather whatever items are over here, even though we don't necessarily need to be over here at the moment. Red herb. The tool, which, yeah, we do need that. Required for cable car entry. And there should be more down here, right? Nope, there is a safe. And I think a dog can spawn in here later, or they, or they wind up in here later somehow. Okay, the code of the safe is actually on the side, so that's 212.8. Let's see. Shit, I already fucked up. 212 and 8. And that gets us a stock for our shotgun which does what exactly I don't know because <laughs> I already put it on uh, let's examine a shotgun stock makes it easier to shoot rapidly don't know how a stock would manage to do that but apparently it does and getting that herb wakes our friend up no guess not maybe you just have to make closer contact with them there should be a bobblehead somewhere around here Guess I already got him. Uh, I fucking forgot about you right around the corner, you piece of shit. 
Whatever, let's just go open this since we're down here. We'll worry about these guys later, because we'll have to come back through there eventually. And this is already a good escape route. Leon sure can take a freaking chomp, though. What a good sport. Um, okay, so we have a key, which we can use to go get back into, um... So the key that goes here, you can get back to the police, not the police station, but you can get to some of the other sewer parts. Who the fuck is messaging me so much? So we'll just have to hold on to that for now to avoid making multiple trips. And we're gonna have to fight a lot more of these guys around here. Once we advance a little further. What the hell was that? You never watched Aliens, dude? Oh my god. This is getting worse. <laughs> The one-liners just fucking increase as the game goes on. He's just settling into like that's probably just his coping mechanism for all the fucked up shit he's having to see. All right, so you. Okay. Dude, show me your eye. There we go. So the Magnum's really good for this because it's hard hitting and it's damn good at a, damn good at a range. Um, shotgun can do about the same thing, albeit got to be a lot closer. Out of ammo though. That's not good. Got it. All right, we are running very low on ammo, though. That is not good. Got more ammo here. Not enough to kill one outright. But, okay, so we need to run past this one. Because we'll be getting something else to take care of this. Here? Nope. Alright, so let's just get our pistol back out. Got some red herbs. Alright, so this is a little puzzle room thingy. Thankfully, we'll have all the puzzle elements required uh, as we go along here. Gonna examine these so that it says in that box exactly what it is without having to investigate the uh, the top of it. So that's the queen. That's what I have. So there should be two pieces in here. guys is gonna fall because they are alive well dead because zombie but you know all right so we basically just need to get out of this entire room Jesus. with both these pieces and you're gonna be a pain in the ass so we need to basically just get off of you Okay, so, what's the other one I have? Bishop, King Plug, King and Queen. King. So we can get our new weapon. Not as cool as uh, Clary's weapon that she gets, but still pretty damn good. 
basically just going to use a flamethrower on these big dudes. So let's take the king plug out. You're not going to get up right. Uh, I need a combined ship. Um, that's good enough. I don't really want to combine stuff unnecessarily, even if I'm basically going to be using it for a specific thing. Is the queen. Let me put the king in here. Take this one back out. And there we go. So now we can take out these big guys pretty much just with the flamethrower. I really won't be able to do too much about it. Oh. No, you should get back up here. Because I know you're just going to pop out. That's going to be a real fucking dick move. Somewhere. Yep. Son of a bitch. So there should be over time damage. I'm just gonna let it do its thing. There we go. I think there's gonna be one more back near the entrance. So we have our two pieces. Yep. Nope. Not gonna get grabbed. So now we need to go back to that little roundabout where we got chomped and uh, go around to the other side because we need that one other uh, chess piece that we couldn't get to before because it was necessary to keep that bridge up. Oh, you guys are really fucking good at being right around corners, aren't you? What the? Oh, shit. Fortunately, oh, you guys are just <laughs> going away. Okay, maybe I don't have a choice here. Let's, let's see. Okay, that seems to have worked. I didn't think it would. Nope. Let's just combine. Yep. Uh, no, 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 no. We need to get this. Okay, there should be something more out over here. Grenades. Um, okay. Is that it? That's all the items here. Okay, so I don't have shit for ammo. That is less than ideal. Against my almost better judgment, I want to say we should go back to the box so I can get more stuff. But I don't necessarily want to do that. I'm going to be risky. Oh, yeah, no. I don't want to. I hope that's a corpse. No, that's not a corpse. Yeah, I, I need to get more ammo. This isn't enough. Just 
Come on. Alright. Because I really don't want to lose too much of a save progress just because I got cocky. And the uh, box is relatively close. On a speed run, this is not what you'd want to do. I just need to constantly tell myself, hey, we're not actually doing a speed run, so you can probably chill with that. Alright, so let's deposit the shit that we don't need. Um, we'll use this instead of the um, first aid because this can get rid of poison. Take that out. Oh, we do have. We have a lot more mag ammo. That should be more than enough right there. Um. You, I'm going to need. Uh, how do we sort? going. Let's make and resources. Because I have not, I have basically uh, neglected to do so. Basically this entire time. So I got a lot of it. that out and let's get rid of this shotgun for now because it's dead weight you are also dead weights reload you and reload you so we should be fine now if we find more ammo for the other guns that we put away then we will just swap to them but for now uh, they are paperweights so let's not bother with them. Alright, there's still gonna be this one zombie. I don't know if they bother to... Yep, you did get back up. You are stubborn as shit. You out of any of them. Alright, so let's not bother the one behind us. There's gonna be. Maybe we can run past. If we're fast enough. Yep! Because we don't necessarily. I don't wanna waste the ammo if we don't fucking need to. Now we get fucking shotgun ammo. Okay, all clear, yep. Alright, more pistol ammo. You are a roll of film. And we do not need. But we will take the hit pouch. That's unlocked now. This guy is behind us. He's gonna get up. We need. Oh, you are directly in my face, dude. Nope. Get the fuck back down. Fuck, I needed to use the door behind. I need to do that before I do this. Shit. Okay, um, I'm trying to remember the order. Let's just do this for right now. Uh, let's see. Because this will just bring us back to the other area.
We don't really have too much stuff, so it shouldn't take too long. So this is basically like, I think like your last opportunity to really revisit previous areas in order to get stuff that you may have forgotten. But we have been pretty good about that kind of thing up to this point, so not really a big issue. Besides, I'm basically just here for this thing. Uh, examine, we need to turn you back into a shield or badge, whatever. To get the long barrel for the lightning hawk, which gives us extra damage. Also makes it bigger. But it's worth it because ammo for this thing is damn sparse, and having eight shot do even more damage is gonna help us so freaking much. So let's get back in here. I keep hitting space out of instinct to do all this. Uh, by default, the game just wants to use left mouse click. Um, not used to that being except in games like this, so using the using F also works here. And apparently I missed some gunpowder. Alright, there's gonna be a shit ton of zombies. So we need to here. We got ammo to spare, so let's just There's some people behind me up there. There are so fucking many of you right now. Stay down. Let's use the key over here. Then we can get rid of this key. Just some minor resources, nothing super crazy important here. Yep, and get rid of you. It's also important when you're doing the no uh, item box playthrough that you have to use each key item every single, every instance in order to get the option to remove it from your inventory. Because um, I believe there's one thing for the uh, tool, they, they just called it a tool. <laughs> Um, there's one that you kind of have to backtrack a little bit in order to get, in, or, in order to get the option to permanently get rid of it. But for now, we're just going to go back, because I believe that's the last little thingy we need. Unfortunately, that means, um, we're going to have to deal with our buddy over here. And I didn't get my knife back. Could have. I didn't though. Where? Oh. oh, you're over there. Cool. I don't gotta fuck with you at all. And then you're still down. That's good. I don't know why I remember this place being so much more elaborate, because I'm pretty sure that's all of it right there dog? Oh no, I'm thinking of the, uh, the little DLC episode where you're playing as Hunk. Alright, so now I just need to... I will come back to the item box in a second. But I basically just need my... We don't need you anymore. Don't need you. We'll come back for this stuff in a moment. But I mainly just need key items. Uh, you, you. Then we just need to follow this puzzle. Okay, pretty sure the Rook and Knight are on the same wall. Okay, so Rook and Knight are on the same wall. That's... Okay, so we need to look at the signs. Rook and Knight. Okay, so the Knight definitely goes there. Okay, so we don't know what these are, but the Rook goes on one of these. 
And then what do we have here? That's a bishop. And you are a pawn. You are already in the right spot. Okay. And the okay, pretty sure the rook and knight are on the same wall, and the bishop and queen aren't next to each other. Okay, so that can be any of these spots. Okay, so the bishop and queen have to be on opposite sides. And the queen and rook were opposite each other. Okay, so that means the rook. Rook and no okay, so the rook has to be here. That's this. Yep, that's the rook. And the what was opposite the rook? Okay, so the queen. And the bishop has to be on the other. S on can't be on the same wall, or they can't be next to each other. Which by process of elimination, it's there. See, I like puzzles like these. It's like some classic algebra shit or something. And there we go. Didn't have to look up a guy, okay. just Almost classic there. deduction. I fucking love puzzles like that. <laughs> Alright, so I need to pack the big boy guns. Um, let's see. I'll pack the rest of that, because I'll need it either way. I think that's it for poison in the game? So, might as well pack the good shit. Guess let's get all loaded up. Sorry, just like to keep this semi organized. Probably won't even need the shotgun to be honest. Well, I say that now, but it's probably the most I've ever been packing on the Magnum. And it is stronger than the shotgun, so no reason not to. Alright, so we can't get to Ada yet because we need power. Damn it. We, need we do power not have power. First. Yeah, this whole sewer segment was way fucking shorter than I remember. I remember it being like this huge fucking shrek, but I guess if you know what you're doing, it's not really that big of a deal. Um, forget what combination this is. There we go. Alright, and now we get to deal with our buddy. Jesus Christ! And, uh, oh, Leon, you're on fire! God damn it. Shit. Okay, um, let's just use this. We can get the, the defense buff. I don't think there's any real good way to dodge him. I mean, kind of listen for footsteps and go from there, but there's such limited space that you don't really have too many options. But eventually, you will get tired. And we'll try to move on to the more uh, direct approach. Which is this. Which for us means charging straight past him. <laughs> That's the best way to avoid this entire part. He is getting pretty antsy though. Nope, oh, nope. Apparently not antsy enough. And you don't actually have to damage him that much here. Okay, 
behind. Alright, so we... Bye bye. Don't get up. Stay right there. There we go. Okay, so we need to do that. I think one more time? I don't think it's a traditional video game three taps thing. Guess it's just the two times. Yeah, you actually don't have to spend that much ammo. And technically, you don't even really have to stun him. Albeit, it's going to be a much more <laughs> difficult time if you do it that way. Yeah, that was pretty damn smooth. Alright, so let's go get Ada. I can't get it out. I don't know if I should uh... Just do it. I can't walk like this. Yeah, I don't know what it is with these remakes. They see any or even um Resident Evil 7. They they have some washing out issues where the contrast is just off. Because I like to play mostly everything with like super high contrast. I just think it sticks out um stylistically, but something about their visual choices now? here don't exactly uh, lend themselves to that. Well, you still can. I'm not just gonna leave you. Not like this. You don't understand. The situation's worse than I thought. You're not getting rid of me that easy. You protected me. Now it's my turn. I didn't realize we were keeping score. Grab my shoulder. Don't push it, rookie. Yeah, grab his fucking Not bad out. shoulder. You can at least offer your good one. You wanna help? We have to get to the nest. Nest? Umbrella's lab, right beneath us. Net let it slip. That's where the virus samples are. You up for this? I think I could fit it in my schedule. Come on. Cocky little shit now. Scary little rookie at the beginning of this. All right. So boss battle clear. I didn't even need all this healing shit. Holy crap! I did pretty good. Nice. Where'd you get that? Borrowed it. Anyway, we're almost there. Alright, so let's deposit shit that we are not going to be using. Alright, we are more than good. Hurry, dude. Oh, we can't even pull out our knife in her general direction. That's lame. This damn leg. Let me carry you. No. That only make it worse. How's 
And like, and speaking of just fucking dress attire not being appropriate for the situation, um, heels don't seem like a great idea when you're running from zombies. I mean, I, I get like the whole idea of like Femme Fatale, but we're not exactly spying on zombies, we're kind of running from them. I can still see little zombie bite mark on his fucking uh his other shoulder up there. Still a little bloody. So be prepared, Leon. Get any collectibles you haven't gotten up to this point. But I have. Whoop. There we go. This tram is bound for nest. Do not exit until the final destination. It's like riding Bart, except uh, significantly safer. <laughs> you know what I was thinking? I can't wait for the FBI to raid Umbrella Headquarters and take those bastards to justice. I agree, but to be clear, you're not working in official capacity. This is a federal case. Once we get the G virus, she's not with the feds. Hey, she's fucking playing yeah. you so hard, dude. Trust me. You shouldn't. No. Trust me. Honestly, if I didn't, you'd probably be dead. Right. I, I thought I might need your help, and I was right. If you can secure the G-Virus, I can make sure what happened in Raccoon City never happens again. That is yeah. a lie. <laughs> that is such a fucking lie. Holy no, shit. You give Look fucking Wesker the plugas from 4, you fucking piece of shit. Liability now. If I'm gonna finish this case, you're the last hope I've got. I'm not just gonna leave you here. What if you're attacked? What if you need help? Yep, there, there's Femme Fatale, right there. You're being duped. I'll be fine. Don't worry about me. I gotta see this through. And I want to see you again. Don't do it. I got plenty to live for, trust me. Now, arriving at Ness. Go. Please, we don't have much time. You're gonna need this. Okay. Leon. Counting on you. I know. Alright, let's see if there's any contrast, um settings in here. Oops, wrong menu. Yeah, these, these brightness settings just aren't exactly what I'm looking for. Just barely visible. Let's just make it a little darker, why don't we? Image on the left disappears. Just overcompensate a little bit. That should help. It's so hard to tell if these things are gonna even going to be accurate or not. There's nothing around here, I think. For your safety, stand clear until the doors are fully open. I'm kind of hoping that the Resident Evil 4 remake doesn't play, like, exactly like this, but we shall see. Damn, my contrast settings really need to change my monitor for this. Nothing here. This is blocked off. Oh, yeah, here's a cafeteria area. I think we should probably come through here. I to... know, oh, we need to come through here right now. There's any items there is. There are, whatever. My English am good. Thank you. 
is designed for the nutritional needs and is not produced by logical research. Oh, fuel for the um flames are healthy Shit! Come on, that is way too much ammo to be pumping into you. Fucking damn it! I got cocky. Fucking raccoon. Um, whatever. Use that. Get out of here. Nothing like, no like super important items in there. I just, just being cocky. Shouldn't have done that. I think the item's even on this side too, anyway. So there's like no reason to me to have done that. Oh no. Maybe I was right to be cocky. There's more shit over there. Nope. I was being cocky. Son of a bitch. You out of the way. Shotgun ammo. Regulator for the flamethrower. We don't have the thing for that. We can combine this with our chip. Or ID band, whatever. For higher clearance. You know what? I'm actually going to do a quick little display thing. Um, because I would like to fix the shadow issues. Let's see, change resolution and adopt. Display, desktop color settings. I would like a higher contrast. Let's go like 95. Let's see if that helps. Oh, that helps a lot. This looks so fucking good now. There's still a bit of shadow stuff at the end, but damn. I love me some contrasting games. Dr. Lee, your okay. presence is urgently requested the by Chief. The cart in the east area. Okay, so let's get that flamethrower out. Oh yeah, let's just load these up. Um, actually, no. Let's not do that, because the upgrade might remedy some of those issues. Nope, this does not. The flamethrower is going to be very important right now, though. Shotgun ammo. Which, since we're right here, let's just deposit it real quick. Okay. Um. Save that. Close the door. Because people are on the phone in the house. It always fucks me up because whenever you enter a new area, by default, you think whatever in front of you is north. Uh, that's not the case because that's west, this is east, so north is where we came from. Always throws me off though. Alright, so we need to activate these bridges. We don't have clearance for that. We do have clearance for this.
Alright, so Flamethrower, gonna be your best friend, because if you know uh, the laws of Pokemon, uh, fire beats grass, and vine covered zombies I would describe as a sort of grass type Pokemon. So, uh, the math kinda does itself at that point. Um, I need first aid spray. Always want to try to keep one on me. And then just for safe measure, let's go ahead and save. That door over there is locked. We need that. Jesus. What happened here? Nothing possibly could have gone wrong over here. Uh, these guys can one shot you and grab you, so. Let's just get them out of the way. We want to make as few trips as possible. Um, I forget what the stupid code for here is, but thanks to the internet, and I don't feel like I'm cheating myself on this because I've already beat the game multiple times, got all the achievements. Um, I don't feel like it's wrong to do it right here. Alright, so it should be this. Let's see. Um, you, you, there we go. Alright, so that door is unlocked. We need the vial for that. I don't think we have the right stuff for this quite yet. Because uh, we need to unlock it. Or no, maybe we need to go back to do that. Let me see. Um, oh no, I need to go back because, yeah, I do know the code for that. So let me just collect whatever we have. This guy got all expanded. What the fuck is going on? It looks like one of the hazmat suit guys from fucking Monsters, Inc. Alright, so let's actually head back. That is the wrong thing. I, yeah. solution now. Hey, that that's a non-solution. It is, it has done absolutely nothing. Oh, but I didn't need that. Got good uh, accidental fuck up, I guess. Guess I need that. Think that's the code. Yep. Alright, so now we can fill the thingy. Alright, and this part can get a little tricky. Manual mode engaged. Adjust amount of solution to match cartridge capacity. to do is this. I am not good at this puzzle <laughs> whatsoever. And so basically what I think what we need to do is this. Hmm. 
No. Alright. Swap these. I don't understand. Um... Or wait. I think I know what I need to do. Yes, I think I know. No, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> oh, fucking Christ. I should have followed the guide on this one, too. Let me pull my stream legs back up. So, let's see. So, I need to get rid of that tiny little bit, right? Deposit this amount. Into you. Okay, see, so yeah, this is what I'm confused about. So I need basically this to be fill, filled up and then a tiny little amount into there. Okay, so that is a tiny amount I need. Right. So we gotta fill this up. Okay, no, I fucked it up. I had it. It's always this part that fucks me up, though. Okay, so I got the tiny amount. you put the tiny amount into that one. And then, okay, I think I've got it. And then here we go. Why you need to have this fucking mixing vial shit in these tubes? Why you can't just do it manually? I don't fucking know. It's so fucking arbitrary. Alright. Now that that's out of the way, we need to go down to this little escape hatch. Nope. Bye, plant zombie. There should be some stuff over here. So we got a map. And some gunpowder. And if I remember correctly, there are going to be fucking hunters down here, so that's 
all fine and fucking dandy. But we do have a magnum now. We did not have that earlier. So this should be a much easier experience. Here's a DNA or statue which would have the combo for the um, the combo to unlock the doors, but we already circumvented that. So as you see, we no longer need it. Oh, shotgun ammo. I much prefer the maps here than in 7, uh, specifically telling you if you've managed to grab everything or not. I don't have the thing for that, but I can. And where is my friend? Nope, they're getting up. Oh, there's two. Alright, got rid of the lookers. That's the only real hard part of this. Um, we need the little radio wave thingy. You are down there. Is this reloaded? Yes. You are down there. Alright, anyone around here? Nope. Got this. Inventory cannot be full. Because I do not need you to be full. Man, I don't want to do that. Uh, there we go. Big ammo. <laughs> We got plenty of handgun ammo, let's just fucking use it. Somebody's notes. Is that all? No, there should be something else in here. Some other kind of. Oh! Damn it! Fuck off out of here, dude. Get my fucking knife. Well, I am gonna need that knife. Oh. Oh. There goes my flash grenade. But I can get my knife. Nope. All for that freaking piece of ammo. But it gives us more magnum to work with. That's always a good thing. So, let's do this. Um, let's keep the first aid. Reload you. I think we basically need everything else. We don't really need the shotgun. Has effectively been replaced at this point. But there's still some more stuff we need from this area. Such. And the best place to do that would be to actually go back through here. Actually, you know what? We do need to go back to the nap room. But we'll do that after we There is entirely way too many of you in here. <laughs> I 
That's not terrifying at all. It's looming in the darkness. But it is the fastest way back down here. I'm fucking a Rambo right here. That's only because I need this thing. Um, I need to tune this to muff. There we go. What do you mean? Oh, it's Murph. There's a call sign for it. Okay. Okay, let's do this real quick. Let's get the power on. Uh, lookers out of the way. That's that's the uh, hard part. I could blow these dead these dudes' uh, heads off with a magnum shot, but I'd rather not use my ammo that way. <sighs> it is cool. Left the freezer here. open. Freezer, little virus. Uh, you can't skip this for whatever reason. Gotta watch the whole process. Can make speedruns a little slow, because like basically almost every other aspect you can skip. Uh, this one kind of sticks out as an instance where you can't do that. Complete. I think that's all the items in here. Yep. And thankfully, I don't believe any of these guys get up. You don't get up, right? <laughs> yes, you do. But we're about to leave, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> okay. Um, there is that room over here, which there's nothing like super vital, but there are a good amount of resources. Which I would be remiss to... Oh, motherfucker. I'm wondering where you guys went. Of course they're right around the fucking corner. This game's really fucking insidious, insidious with uh, this shit. Reload you over here. That's all the stuff in here. And it's also an opportunity to offload material that we do not need. Um, let's just save for good measure. And we can't exit through that. God damn it. Could have sworn that was enough space. Whatever. 
We'll just pick up another health item on the way around. No big deal. I left a zombie still alive. Oh, you're here now. So you get the thing you need, they pop up. I don't have time. You're backed up there. You are the most fucking persistent. God damn it. There we go. It's probably like the one fucking zombie game where headshots don't matter as much. They're, they can take like fucking 10 to the head and it doesn't do shit. Um, I probably should just get the thing right now. The extra pouches. But that's a whole other run to the other side of the map and then back. So I'm just going to save. And we'll see how that turns out. Because I don't recall Mr. X can chase you all the way throughout this part. But we do have to go back through here. And here is our new friend. You're down. There's another one of you. Yeah, so basically at this point, the flamethrower is relegated to um, taking these enemies out. And for good reason. Because they are fucking tough as shit. You can shoot the little orbs. Um, but the flamethrower is so much more suited to this job. Dispensing solution now. Alright, so that's going to kill all these vines. I don't believe it does anything to the actual enemies. But there is the ID the that we need. Warning. You have dispersed a dangerous solution without Bye bye. Or no, maybe you guys knock him the fuck out. Disciplinary. disciplinary actions, my ass. Measures. Now our boy, Mr. Flex Shit. is uh Oh god damn it! No! Oh. Okay, get up. Good, 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 because we got a dip. Okay, we don't have a choice. This is not the way that I would have wanted to go, but we did go. I don't know if he can follow you down here. I've never had to take this way. Usually it's been more of a beeline for me. Don't follow me. Yeah, because those, uh, those vine ones can kill you in one hit. So I'm not trying to fuck around with that. I am very lucky that I had uh, that knife on me. So that wasn't as smooth of, of uh, an escape as I would have hoped, but we're fine. But for now, let's go back and get um, the hit pouch. And then we can get rid of this little fucking radio wave decoder, whatever the fuck you want to call it. Then we'll probably be calling it a stream soonish because um, me and Sarah are going to be streaming Resident Evil 6. And that should be a fun time. It's which way? That way. Running away. Bye, lady. Alright, so we need MUF. Okay. There we go. 
go. There we go, got the hip pouch. And now we have all the hip pouches in the game. A lot of people, um, especially speedrunners, will choose to avoid this one. It's not super necessary. It's a tiny bit out of your way at the last stretch. So if you're low on time, um, yeah, maybe. Oh God, fucking! I, didn't, I did not even see you beforehand. But we are near a um, an item box anyway. And we are getting close to the last handful of encounters in the game, so we can take the bites. Apparently, I missed one. Hold on to it just in case. That's what I'm going to say. No, I did not want to store that. I wanted to. Oh, that works. Um, let's see. Any more combat knives? Uh, first aid. Yeah, that should be good enough. I want to at least try to get to the next part um, before we end the stream. these tapes I'm basically just going to deposit it oh that item box right here and I believe this is a point of almost no return um, in terms of like hey these battles are coming up like right now so you know what um, I think I might actually have uh, a guest over what was the thing on here OSS so I'm probably gonna end the stream right now and then uh, I'll be back like within an hour or so to do uh, Resident Evil 6 with Sarah. So that should be a fun time. We'll be back. We'll be having some co-op fun. A lot of people don't hold Resident Evil 6 in the highest of regard, so it should be a fun time laughing at some really bad shit. And that's the last of that. Whoops. Where is there no save box? Here? Oh no, I guess I cannot end it right here. That is not allowed. Apparently I missed an item? I don't think I did. Whatever. I believe the trigger will, for this fight will happen once you cross. That there should be an item box around here. No, there is not. Oh, there is an item thing right here, though. Is there a save here? No, there is not. Save is all the fucked way back. Holy shit. Alright, so that's all the items we're going to get, so let's just load the fuck up on everything we got now. Okay, um, got plenty of that. Yeah, 
blue herb. Just been mixing shit right now. What kind of a even ammo do I have? Some shotgun shells. Don't know if that's enough to justify bringing out the shotgun. I've been really ignoring my shotgun ever since I got the magnum. It's like total opposite right now. Of, uh, of like most other playthroughs I've done, at the very least. I feel like I am very, <laughs> very kitted out for this. Probably... Oh, there is a save. Alright, so yeah, that's going to be the stream. Um, I guess the next Resident Evil 2 stream will probably be the last for Resident Evil 2 because um, this is basically about it. Um, so yeah, I'll be back on within an hour or so with Sarah in order to play Resident Evil 6. Uh, for those that don't know or are watching this in any other place, uh, you can catch me streaming live on Twitch. Uh, the, the only real schedule I have is Sundays at 6.30 p.m. PST for the Game Session Podcast. That gets chopped up later onto YouTube as individual segments, as well as a full episode being available on YouTube, as well as podcast services. I do video essays as well, which go up on YouTube, currently working on a Doom uh, video essay. The essay portion of it is available on my Medium. All links to my content can be found down below in the link tree. The best place to keep up to date with me on anything I do, as well as kind of like announcements as for what I'm doing um, unplanned streams like this. Uh, best place to stay up to date with me is on Twitter. So you can see the at on screen here and all, all the links to every single piece of my content is in the link tree, whether it's YouTube, Twitch, Medium, uh, Spotify, whatever podcast links, all that's down below. So thanks for hanging out and we, I will be back uh, within an hour or so with Sarah. So thanks for hanging out. Bye-bye.